The world's car fleet is growing fast, and now it is almost impossible to track their exact number. Explosive growth has been observed since 1950, when the number of cars doubled in just 10 years. Growth is rapidly gaining momentum, significantly facilitated by the active development of technologies. Scientists believe that by 2050, about 3 billion cars will be out on the roads. Due to that, serious traffic issues and increased traffic congestion arose in large cities. According to some engineers, solving this problem requires a fresh look at vehicle design. This is the Innovative Text Channel, and in today's episode, we will talk about unique inventions and vehicles that take the transport industry to a new level. Omnidirectional Chassis In one of our episodes, we talked about the smart Robomobile Romo. This is an autonomous electric vehicle that has a prominent feature, an omnidirectional chassis. Four independent mechanical modules integrated into the wheel allow the machine to easily maneuver in narrow spaces. The car is controlled by a joystick. Engineers note that Robomobile is first of all a prototype for exploring the possibilities of an innovative chassis. That's where we need to turn on Time Rewind and get back to the beginning of the 20th century. It was then that engineers became interested in swivel wheels. One of the first inventors to apply them in 1933 was Richard Fuller, who created the Dymaxion teardrop car. At that time, this three-wheeled road zeppelin made a splash at the auto shows. One of its features was a rear wheel which could turn 90 degrees and endow this 20-foot car with an amazing maneuverability. As the years passed, car companies were periodically getting back to the idea of creating a car with an omnidirectional chassis. And we are talking about a radical approach to business, with the wheels turning at an angle between 30 to 90 degrees. Reasons for a long stagnation lay in the high cost of production and imperfect technologies. However, in 2000s, we've experienced a real technological breakthrough that instantly affected the transport sector. There was a demand for high maneuverability and compactness, which was quickly taken into account by automakers that presented spectacular concept cars. For example, in 2015, the EO Smart Connecting Car was released. It was designed for the busy streets of the metropolis and features butterfly-style doors, lightweight of 1,653 pounds and wheels that swivel around 90 degrees. However, the pinnacle of the modern vision of an omnidirectional chassis is a concept car by Mercedes-Benz dubbed the Vision Avatar. It is a symbiosis of technologies that interact with the passenger as a living organism. The German Miracle technology is capable of driving diagonally and even sideways, at an angle of 30 degrees. Mercedes got such opportunities thanks to swivel wheels. The engineers jokingly call their development the Crab Walk. Many experts believe that the future belongs to the omnidirectional chassis. With the rapid growth in the number of vehicles, an ability to instantly change direction, turn in place and move sideways, will play an important role in unloading the transport infrastructure. Transformer Cars A robotization of the transport sector has significantly expanded human capabilities. People who previously could only dream of a long trip tied to their home due to some physical limitations have discovered endless prospects for themselves, all thanks to the companies that transform ordinary cars into robotic stations. They have special mechanisms to facilitate the boarding of people with disabilities. Moreover, outwardly, such transport is no different from any other car. A striking example of a transformer car is the development by the Texas company Access to Mobility. As a basis, engineers use Chevrolet SUVs and minivans from various companies subjecting them to fundamental changes. Robotic lifts are built into the car interior. Sliding mechanisms for doors are installed, while the car is completely adapted to customer requirements. Both the rear and the front of the car can be transformed. It all depends on the individual needs of the person. Frontal Airbags These days, you won't surprise anyone with such a passive safety system as an airbag. It is used in most modern cars and airbag manufacturers regularly introduce new developments based on this technology. Interestingly, the working prototype of the airbag was created back in 1964 by the Japanese engineer Yasuzaburu Kabori. It was he who proposed to inflate the pillow using gases that were released during the detonation of an explosive. Three years later, inventor Alan Breed designed one of the key components of the system. 
a ball sensor for determining the moment of collision. The first production car to use airbag as a passive safety technology was the 1973 Oldsmobile Toronado. The use of an innovative system at that time sometimes led to unexpected developments. For example, one owner of such car was saved by an airbag in a collision. However, an unexpected opening provoked a heart attack of the driver. An active use of the system began in the mid-80s, and its improvement goes on. While actual numbers are difficult to quantify, recent studies state that at least 6,000 lives have been saved by the use of airbag in recent years. Nowadays, some manufacturers present highly original designs, such as external airbags by the ZF Group. With its help, engineers want to reduce the risk of side collisions. Developers claim that the use of this system reduces the consequence of a blow by 40%. Let's also remember the Honda Goldwing motorcycle released in 2006. It was the first bike with an airbag. However, this technology is still not widely used in two-wheel vehicles. One of the latest innovations in this area is the front airbag for rear passengers. In 2020, headlines were rife with news that the Mercedes S-Class would be the first production car to feature the aforementioned airbags. Their design was developed by specialists from Daimler AG, who are really highly experienced in this area. However, many experts noted that back in 2014, TWR presented the world with working prototypes of such airbags. However, their shape and location are significantly different. The only fact remains undeniable, airbag systems continue to improve, saving lives of thousands of people. Cameras instead of mirrors if at the beginning of the 21st century drivers were told that rear-view mirrors would soon be a thing of the past, they would laugh in response. This device began to be used since 1911, that is, more than a hundred years ago. Mirrors then appeared on the Marmon Model 32 Wasp race car during one of the first Indy 500 races. The mirror vibrated violently, and according to pilot Ray Harron, little could be seen in it. However, the most interesting thing is that even before their installation, drivers actively used an analog of this device. It was an ordinary pocket mirror. For a long time, automakers have experimented with such devices, introducing cabin mirror on the control panel, mirrors on the front fenders, and even on the back door of the car. They experimented with shape and optical components, trying to expand the view and to solve the problem of the driver's glare. As a result, the mirrors turned into a complex optical electrical unit. With the advent of miniature devices capable of capturing high-definition video, engineers started thinking about using cameras. Initially, these devices appeared as extras, allowing the driver to get a 360-degree view. Later, concepts appeared that provided for a complete rejection of anachronistic mirrors. The Mercedes-Benz F015 Luxury in Motion was one of the first drone concepts to hint at a complete rejection of obsolete components. However, it's 2020 and only Tesla released the beta version of the standalone software. Several manufacturers have presented a replacement for traditional mirrors, though. For example, the Lexus ES sedan has already shown a working prototype of such system, dubbed Digital Outer Mirrors. The cameras display images on 5-inch screens mounted on the sides of the control panel. They automatically detect vehicles in the blind spot zoom in when cornering and demonstrate other useful features. A similar solution is offered by Audi on its e-tron. The Mercedes-Benz Actros trucks also got cameras instead of mirrors. The system called MirrorCam offers the driver unlimited visibility, reduces fuel consumption, and improves aerodynamics. At the same time, there is no issue with fogging or dirt on the mirrors, automatic adjustment for the driver, and virtual distance lines. In general, video cameras provide more information about the environment, better visibility, and closer interaction with the driver. By the way, the futuristic Cybertruck by Tesla will also use digital cameras instead of mirrors, as they feature the future of the auto industry. Today, we are witnessing a radical transformation in the transport industry. Cars are no longer a mere means of transportation. They are becoming smarter, faster, safer, and more reminiscent of an advanced gadget than of a mechanical beast. We witness technologies that make our childhood fantasies and dreams come true. Who knows, maybe in the future, children will ask us about gasoline cars as an unprecedented miracle that will seem to them a strange curiosity. 
This was Innovative Techs. Do subscribe to the channel and hit like if you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to share your opinion in the comments below. See you next time.